The season design requires that all sources of characters uh, power come from playing the game, so you will not be able to pay for power in Diablo 4. Like, what the fuck is this, dude? For free, just by playing. It's a fucking computer game that I fucking bought! Where you go down and it's tied to like all this money shit. Like, can't we just kind of just make loot to drop from mobs that you get? And you get experience by killing things. They want you to be shackled to the shop. So you're constantly looking at something that you can purchase. That's what it is, right? That's literally it. Shop is uh, transparent. <laughs> I like all these trans mugs. It's because I'm used to seeing all this dog shit where like they have fucking mega giga wings coming out. And they've got like fucking rotating bows and fucking orbs coming out their ass. Diablo 4 quarterly update, August 2022, Blizzard Entertainment. Hello and welcome to our third Diablo 4 quarterly update of 2022. Let me turn off uh, TTS actually. Let me turn off TTS. Okay, TTS is off, so. Hello and welcome to our third quarter Diablo 4 quarterly update of 2022. We hope you enjoyed the last quarter's dive into the playstyle of our final launch class, the Necromancer. That blog post and our previous updates can be found here if you missed out. Today we'll be talking about some of the, uh, what's coming to Diablo 4 after the game ships. This is often referred to as a live service, and we have ambitious plans here. Our associate game director for live service, Joseph P. Piora, uh, and our director of product, Keegan Clark, are here to talk about details. Everything they describe is in addition to delivering the complete Diablo 4 experience. The rich in-game features uh, you expect at launch and the regular expansions. It's, it's plural? Uh, I think it's plural. Wait, the opposite of this. That continue the story. Many of you enjoy the... Uh, many of you enjoy the seasons in Diablo 2 Resurrected and Diablo 3 and have asked for this... Uh, for a more extensive season support. We agree one of the most fun ways to play Diablo is through seasons. So we're making the first one available soon after launch. And building a dedicated team to bringing you up to four seasons a year. Okay, wait, let's do some math here, chat. 12 months divided by four. Every three months. Same as Path of Exile. Same as Path of Exile. I mean, cunt. If they are staggered in between PoE leagues and they're not synchronized, if they are staggered, bro, that could be fucking cool. Like, play a PoE league, pop off, get rank one, do all that shit. <laughs> Boom, D4 season comes out. But let's be real here, though. I don't believe that these... I mean, my prediction is that these seasons are going to be... I mean, we're probably about to find out about them. Um, but they're not going to be... They're not going to be doing anywhere near the size of uh, updates that Path of Exile does. Right? It's, you know, let's be real. It's probably going to be the case. But it's still going to be fun initially. I mean, you, you never know, right? Maybe they'll be inspired by PoE. You never know. Each major new uh, features, quest lines, enemies, legendary items, and more. Diablo 4 seasons are molded after those of Diablo 3. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, dude. Okay. okay, what that means is, this is going to be absolutely zero fucking content. Okay, what that mean? And they're just gonna buff the fucking set items by 10,000%. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be zero, they're gonna zip, they're zero content. They're gonna buff the set items by 10,000%. <laughs> oh shit, let me turn my air conditioner on. Okay. Like, literally one guy, bro. Like, one guy was... There was one guy working on Diablo fucking three seasons, dude. Like, one guy. When a new season begins, all the characters from the prior season are moved to the Eternal Realm. Okay, so standard. They moved to standard. Where you can keep playing, level up, and collecting loot. To play in the new season, you'll create a fresh character and experience the new seasonal features and content while leveling up alongside other players. Okay. Okay. This along with currently, uh, uh, this along with capping Paragon points in Diablo 4 ensures that your effort and skill, your effort and skill measured by both dexterity and theorycrafting determine how powerful your character becomes. 
Also, become, uh, it also allows players who missed last season uh, to participate. I agree. Economy resets and, like, character resets, it's fun and it's motivating to play the game. Let's be real. Like, it's true. It's true. This, uh, even, even if it's, like, zero content, just a new season, it's fun. Um, it's like, I mean, look at it. Look, they launched new classic rounds on World of Warcraft. Add literally nothing whatsoever, and people are still hyped, right? It's like, fuck. You know? The season design requires that all sources of characters uh, power come from playing the game, so you will not be able to pay for power in Diablo 4. Okay, okay, big dicks. Okay, it's a big dick. dick. Can we get some, can we get some collapse in the chat for Blizzard with this line here? I mean, they're stating it. Like, Print screen. Print, print screen, dude. Okay. Like, you will not be able to pay for power in Diablo 4. That's a strong... That's a strong... Message to send out. Which I, I like. But wait, how did I get worded, though? The season design requires that all sources of character power come from playing the game. So you will not be able to pay for power in the other four. Is it saying you're gonna wait? So they're not saying that you can't pay for power in standard league. Wait, power define power. Yeah, I don't know, dude. He, oh no, he, yeah, I don't know, dude. No, but it says that right. He's saying power. Power is the general term. That means paying for boosts, paying for items, paying for some gem that gives you some thing. That's like, like literally, power is an all-encompassing thing. Um, you can read more about our monetization philosophy below along with details on how the cosmetic shop and the optional season pass support and enhance the seasons. Okay. We hope you'll enjoy this update and look forward to your thoughts and reactions. Later this year, we'll be testing the in-game systems. Oh, shit. Later this year, we'll be testing our in-game systems. Oh, shit, dude. What the fuck? We're in the eighth month. There's 12 months, right? That means one, two... Four months. Like, within the next four months. We'll also be testing features uh, that enable players who have completed uh, the game's campaign to flag it as completed for new characters they create and allow characters to, on the Eternal Realm to contribute to seasonal progress. Wait, what? We'll be also using features that allow the enable players who have completed the game's campaign to flag it as completed for the new characters they create and allow characters on the Eternal Realm to contribute to seasonal progress. Wait, the Eternal Realm was standard, right? What? No, wait, what? No, 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 no. They're saying, they're saying we allow... Okay, they're saying once you completed the game's campaign... Flag it as completed for new characters they create and allow characters on standard to contribute to the current league. That's what they're saying. What? You skip campaign. I mean, I hope that's what it means. Because allowing characters on standard to help season sounds like what the fuck? They're talking about season pass. Wait, how? I'm getting confused by this wording. I'm going to read it again. Just see, maybe, maybe it'll understand it better. I'll read it again. I don't think so, though. I hope you enjoyed the update. Look forward to your thoughts and reactions. Later this year, we'll be testing our in-game systems. We'll also be testing features that enable players who have completed the game's campaign to flag it as completed for the new characters they create and allow characters on the turnaround to contribute to the season of progress. So it's saying, if you've completed the campaign, basically what they're saying is you complete the campaign on standard, you don't have to do it you don't have to do the campaign again when the new season comes out. That's what they're saying. I mean, okay. I guess. Is a campaign that dog shit? Is a campaign that dog shit? What the fuck? What the fuck? Grateful to have you uh, with us on this journey. Thank you for playing the games uh, we make. Joe Shelley. Game Director, DLO4. Seasons. Hello, Heroes of Sanctuary. My name is Joe Pipiora. 
uh, the associate game director responsible for the game systems and our live service. Today, I finally get to talk about our high-level plans for Diablo 4 seasonal content updates. We are in the uh, exciting position of delivering the high-quality quarterly releases of Diablo 4 deserves. True, true. As our game director, Joe Shelley, noted earlier, we are pursuing seasonal uh, reset structure for our live game. Diablo is a game about choice and possibility. We feel it is best when you uh, get a clean slate to start in the new season. Picking a class and customizing your build and chasing down items that support it along the way. It supports us several advantages. Uh, and chief among them is how we can really shake up the box of Diablo 4 with each season. Creating unique experience with each quality release. Okay, I mean, okay. I mean, that sounds cool. So they've got a, they're saying that we've got a good toolkit to just fuck shit up. To make it different. I mean, okay. I mean, I can see it. Like, changing, like, fucking, like, where items drop, how they drop, like, fucking order of bosses. I don't know. Like, crazy shit like that. Okay, interesting. New content. Yeah, that's what I... I want to know about new content. Because that's really, like... Bro, D3 season resets are, are, are fun. But, like, the reality is they're way more fun with this new content of this new boss, right? Of the new, new, new fucking shit. Like, actually new shit. So... New content. Because that's what PoE does. Every You're not just getting... With a PoE league, you're not just getting a league reset. You're getting like a fucking... Like a new part of the game. And that's... You know, we're hoping we get something like that, right? S something similar. Pro probably less though, right? Because of the way that they're monetizing. We think it's important that players uh, see the game that is changing in meaningful ways. Each season will be released with a fresh new gameplay feature and quest line that introduces new challenges, mysteries, and possibilities into the level-up experience. This is something the players should begin to experience before the end of their uh, first hour of play. One of uh, the benefits of our seasonal direction is that it enables fun new ways to play throughout your character's progression. Each season's new quest line reveal more of the worlds of Sanctuary and your character's place in it. Here we get an opportunity to introduce a uh, new characters or revisit old ones while exploring the lore and the content of the season. Refreshing the meta. Okay, oh shit. Oh shit, dude. So this is the Paragon board thing? Glyphs. Available points. So you like get these fucking boards and you put them together and you make pathways and you, you guys have got keynotes which give you like upgrades. So you can have like a, you know, whatever. But we know Paragons are capped, so basically you're going to hit the min-max. It's going to be like kind of like a Cluster Jewel setup. You're going to go... F it's basically Cluster Jewels, kind of. Kind of like you're like setting up Cluster Jewels and you're kind of like sp specializing your guy, right? Okay. I mean, it's until I actually play it, I don't, know, I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know. Diablo 4 is a fast game. We want to ensure that we're keeping our existing content and features in place. Will they remain fun and challenging to participate in? To that end, we'll always be evaluating the state of the game uh, to regularly revitalize all the stumping grounds. One clear example here is uh, looking at the uh, relative balance between classes, builds, and powers. Yeah, and they're gonna say that we're not just gonna repeatedly buff shit? They're gonna say that? I, re I really hope they're not gonna say they're just gonna buff shit. Like, they're gonna, ba they're gonna balance. Okay, that, that was a massive... That, okay, Diablo 3 devs had this dog shit philosophy of, like, never nerf, only buff. And they just, patch after patch, ran their grave into the ground. And now they're literally speed running the highest tier of Great Rift, and it's like, I don't even know what the fuck it is anymore. I, I don't even know what it is. Diablo is a game that's about uh, creating exciting, overpowered builds. And while we don't want to uh, balance uh, the fun out of the experience, we don't want to create situations which imprecise uh, tuning squash creativity. Yeah, basically one OP build that everyone fucking rolls. Like ultra meta kirk shit, like detonate ditch. Uh, we will also uh, be constantly adding new legendary unique items, paragon boards and glyphs that will uh, continually refresh the meta and create new build opportunities. Okay, okay. What about actual content though? What about like actual like, in, like they didn't say anything about bosses or anything. So they're gonna add in basically uniques and different cluster jewels. Okay.
Okay. Why? Well, unless we have to wait. How often are they going to do an expansion? Are they going to do one expansion a year? One expansion every two years? Like, I mean, to be honest with you, I can fuck with that. I can fuck with no actual content as long as they brought out a new expansion every year. Right? Like one content drop every year. Big dick one. Big dick. You know what I'm saying? I could consider that. Okay, improving the game. Uh, well, each season we'll be looking at ways to simply improve the player experience. Oh, no. It's just going to be like adding in a Ramalati's gift, dude. This is about like fucking f ways to skip as much shit as possible. Maybe adding Primal Ancients in, dude. Oh, no. Okay. As a live product, we intend to hold Diablo 4 for an exceedingly high standard. We are here to have the live game that we can be proud of. And uh, the best way to do that is by engaging our players directly. Based on feedback uh, that we receive, the team will identify quality of life features. Oh no, dude. This sounds awful, bro. Oh no. That, that's, dude. Reddit? Imagine if GG listened to fucking POE Reddit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Thing is, Diablo 3 devs didn't give a fuck about what people said. They didn't give a fuck. Like, in Reaper Souls, they gave zero fucks. They literally th couldn't care less. They're just, like, adding in random shit that nobody asked for. Like, oh, the Amaris. Oh, what's a fucking new conquest thing where you gotta loot gold? Oh, it's crazy. Whoa. Like, I, I like, some random, like, just, no, like, who the fuck asked for that shit? No, like, literally, we're like, fix the game. It's fucked. Please. And they're like adding some random bullshit, like, this, I don't know. Like, we begged. We begged for changes and nothing happened. Um, I don't know. This is scary, though, because if you give people what they want, they, they don't know what they want. The thing is, people don't know what they want. But certainly, you can feel good advice. This shit, this shit that's just, oh, that's a good idea. Let me utilize that. Like, imagine if I took everything a chat told me and just did it. Like, I have to filter out 99% of the dog shit, okay? But I, there's actually the cream. There's like 1% chat actually has good ideas. 1% it's like, like, actually good ideas. And like, if I can filter out that cream, it's like, fuck yeah, boy. Okay, uh... That's, that's a fine line, though. Okay, if you cater to a bunch of clowns, uh, you're gonna make a clown game. It's gonna be a fucking clown fiesta. Okay. To improve the overall game and experience, and invite the community to vote upon uh, their priority. Oh my god, vote? Is that, wait, didn't they do an OSRS? Was that kind of good, though? That was, that was like, more like, wow, classic, right? Like, hashtag no changes, but actually let's make some changes. But we do a vote. I mean, maybe? While we cannot always uh, flip a switch to tackle something immediately, you can rest assured that we will uh, be active in improving the quality of the game experience for years to come. Uh, live events. Sanctuary is for a living world full of people, creatures, factions, striving to meet their own ends. Attentive players should be on the uh, lookout for new live events that will crop up each season. An example of a live event might be the warning of an impending invasion of the drowned. Which may last uh, a weekend, or the arrival of a strange peddler and miss his right ship. I hope it's, it needs to be more than a few hours. I hate the shit. Like, bro, I got so fucked in Diablo Immortal because it was all like time zone based bullshit. That was all like, you know, whatever you call it, like friendly hours for like local time or whatever. And I could not participate in any of the wars. I could not participate in any of the battles. Because every single one of them was like done in the peak time of New Zealand, which is literally when I'm asleep. Right? Fuck that. Like I'm asleep there. Like fuck that's dog shit. So like if you're gonna do timed events, uh, I hope that yeah you know this makes a lot of sense over the weekend. Okay, a weekend like a weekend buff, like a weekend event. Okay, I can fuck with that. It's like it's like a World of Warcraft weekend buff where everyone gets like twice the experience for a weekend or some shit. But like you know demons are attacking and the special loot. The arrival of a strange peddler amidst the cracks of the dry steps. These events provide gateways to new adventures and uh, new unique rewards. That's gonna go. It's a little bit FOMO-y, but I mean, I still, I don't mind it though. I don't mind it, but writing it's like for a decent duration, I'm okay with it. Oh, 
Wait, didn't they do some shit like this in Diablo 3? Like double bloodshot? Like weekend? And then you, and everyone had to just stay up like 30 hours. Like we just didn't sleep. Well, well, no, they did some shit like that. I'm sure they did that. I'm sure they did that. They did like double bloodshot weekend or some shit. And everyone had to like, it was stupid to not like literally don't sleep and just play. Until you're fucking dead. Um, chapter two. What is this? Oh my god, so this is a seasonal thing here. Okay. Objectives completed in the season journey earn you favor, which helps boost your season pass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Complete the majority of the objectives per character to unlock the next chapter. This looks scarily. This looks. It's, it's, it's scary because it gives me Ramalani's gift vibes, dude. This gives me Ramalani's gift vibes. I, I don't mind if it's like some optional shit, right? Like for cosmetics. But if it's actual items, dude. Oh my god. Oh, a Hadrix gift. Let's see. Defeat monsters, completing quests, and other world activities to earn XP. Items can be crafted from collecting crafting materials. Wait. Craft a magic item. Interact with jeweler and craft a gem. Complete seven dungeons. This is giving me vibes somewhere between Diablo Immortal and World of Warcraft. It's somewhere in between. It doesn't look complete the because it doesn't give me the mo like it's like there's the mobile game kind of vibe of like you know this is the same shit like they had like some bullshit where you would log in there was some pass and it was like you have to do like this shit but then there's also World of Warcraft you know you can you know you got like these dailies where it's like complete three dungeons or some shit it's like it's somewhere in between I I don't know. I, I don't know, dude. I mean, if you just do it one time at the start of the league. And you just get some starter gear, maybe I'm okay with it. I don't know. But if it's like some shit you have to log in every day and do, I, I'd rather fucking blow my brains out in a computer game. If, if, if it's like, you just do it, if it's like the league goes for fucking three months, and you complete this within like the first day or two, you know, I'm okay with that. But if it's like, no, you have to log in every day and do, and you've got all these fucking bars you have to fill up, like, nah, bro. Like, no, bro. I'm gonna be complaining to die. I'm, like, that's like, no, I hate that shit. That's like just straight up mobile game hooks. Just artificial dog shit that just tries to get you to log in. I hate that. The reason I wanna log in is because I wanna log in and play the fucking game, not because of some random bullshit that, like, login bonus fucking daily quest shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, seasonal little journey. Alongside our major season releases, uh, we'll see the return of the seasonal journey. Players uh, are pushed into exploring Sanctuary and you, earning limited time rewards. Limited time rewards, dude. With each chapter of the uh, seasonal journey that is completed. Completing the seasonal journey is quite a feat. The final step demanding the carriage to overcome extremely difficult encounter. Especially with a deadly uh, with an especially deadly foe. Okay. With future seasonal journeys, we are regularly adding pinnacle level difficulty challenges for players to complete, proving their worth and the unique cosmetic rewards. Okay, yeah, that you know what? That sounds kinda tight. That sounds kinda tight. Like cosmetic rewards. That's what I like to see. Like, okay. Alright, okay. Uh, Diablo 3, the seasonal journey is free for all players. Completing the seasonal journey objectives also grants progress towards a seasonal pass. New feature with battle pass style progression that advances alongside the seasonal journey. Enabling players to earn even more rewards just by playing. Earn by playing. Um. I don't like the, the verbiage going on right now, Chad. I don't like this fuck. I don't like that. It's scaring me. It's, it's scaring. I'm just getting fucking. I'm getting like fucking. This is scaring the shit out of me, Chad. So it's just so you get a fucking pass. Okay, so wait. Now then, plans to earn even more rewards just by playing. The season pass has both free rewards, cosmetic, premium currency, and gameplay boosts.
What? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? The season pass has both free rewards, cosmetics, premium currency, and game list. So wait, everyone gets this. So that's free. So wait, let me get let me let me let me let me get this straight. So that this is saying This is saying that you complete the seasonal thing and then you get some bullshit where it's like you get a boost. But it's free. So it's not pay to win. It's free. What the fuck is premium currency? What the fuck is premium currency? Okay, and paid rewards. Cosmetics and pay... Okay, what is... Why is it separate from cosmetics? The premium currency, that's going to be some cosm... So this is going to be efficient currency to buy cosmetics with, right? It's going to be cash shop. It's going to be like gems. What the fuck is premium currency? Okay, this is my hope here. Okay, so obviously it says this the free one and gives a gameplay boost. Okay, fair enough. Everyone gets it. It's free. Whatever. Okay, it's not pay to win. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like I don't I just don't think they should have boosts anyway. Why like just fucking boost the get boosts and like it's just objectively bad. Boosts in World of Warcraft, okay? When you pay and you just boost a character, it takes away from like what it means to have a high level character. It takes away like that fucking swagger, okay, of the guy who's fucking got like three guys that matter. Okay, if you just boost everything, like it's fucking shit, dude. I mean, it's okay if you pay someone to like pay some guy in game in game currency to help you level the guy faster and get boosted. Okay, getting boost you get boosted in arena, okay? Like when I boosted a bunch of people in arena, to, you know, they'd pay me gold and I would get them their shoulders in Wrath of the Lich King, okay? But to pay for a boost. I mean, that's dog shit. But this is not paying. This is free. I just don't see why. Why even include it, bro? Why even include it? Just make it fun to level characters. Just make it. Just make it leveling characters. Like, don't, like, just don't create a dog shit experience where someone wants to skip. Right? Like, literally. Right? Like, am I crazy? It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, people don't like the campaign for Path of Exile. Do you know what? We're just going to add in boosts. Instead of just trying to make it better. Or some shit. <laughs> like. What the okay. I want to know what a premium currency is, chat. This scares me, but it doesn't shout to me pay to win. It says, maybe this is some fucking dog shit wording that they're using to try and sneak some dog shit in. But it could just be like the wording, that's just the way they describe it. It's just like the in-game store money, which you use to then buy currency. So it's like points in, the, uh, in, in Path of Exile, where you, you would basically do a seasonal pass and you would get points. And then you would use those points to buy like cosmetics. Right? Seasonal pass. Hello, everyone. I'm Keegan Clark, the director of, the, uh, uh, of, uh, the director of product for Diablo 4. Here to talk about our approach to the live service monetization of Diablo 4. <laughs> oh god. Imagine me the poor cunt who has to like, try and like, justify like, well you gotta buy the game, uh, then we're gonna sell you seasonal passes, and then also, yeah, we're gonna also sell you shit in the shop. And then every time we release an expansion, you're gonna have to buy that too, okay? Um, uh, like, imagine being the poor cunt who has to fucking try and like, justify this, dude. Uh, it's, it's not, it's honestly, it's frankly disgusting. Um, uh, as we discussed previously, uh, Diablo 4 will be a full price game with cosmetic shop and seasonal pass. None of which provide any pay for power options. Okay! Okay! Like, oh yeah, you're not paying for power, you're just paying for quality of life, dude. Yeah, just boost your character up. <laughs> Yeah, you're not paying for power. We're just giving you two times experience for like, you know, next week. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. It's just, it's just quality of life. Oh shit. Our goal in designing that game is uh, in-game purchases that we want to create <coughs> beautiful things which add value to players' experience of the game. Okay, do you not understand that actually it does the opposite? 
if you create something that's beautiful and then you sell it for currency, it devalues. It devalues every other fucking cosmetic that currently exists in the game. That, like, this guy who farmed it in the game, play, play in the game. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like the opposite. It's, it's like a negative value. It's, it's, uh... But, but don't get me wrong, I would be fine with that if they were only selling cosmetics, right? And you weren't paying for the game and it was free to play. <laughs> like, I, I would say it's a, it's a trade-off, right? I feel like they just need to pick one monetization scheme and go with it and not try to do all of them, bro. Because it's, it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. I'm still going to play Diablo 4, so what am I saying? The scale of Diablo 4 seasons is much more ambitious than we've done in the past in Diablo 3, okay? With a large development team dedicated to seasons after launch. Okay, that's good. Diablo 4 will be supported by an army of developers for years to come. Okay, so right now they got one guy working. They got one guy. They got one guy working for Diablo 3. So an army. Okay. Oh, fuck. I mean an army. Okay. What? <laughs> one man army, dude. <laughs> Oh uh, shit, and there's like five guys like who are just trying to get, like monetize shit and there's one guy who actually has to code it, dude. The guy... <laughs> shit. Okay, with all the exciting plans we have for seasons, we want them to be enjoyed by everyone. Regardless of whether they, uh, they buy anything from the shop. Uh, okay. I'm grateful for the opportunity to finally share more with the community about our live service model. I mean, the reason that you're doing it though, right? Is so that you hopefully buy share, right? Wait. Wait, what? With all the signing plans for seasons, we want them to be enjoyed by everyone regardless. Yeah, no. So saying you can play the new season without buying shit from the shop, right? You're good. You're good. Basically, the idea is that you play the game and then hopefully you buy some shit, right? Seasons will add all new gameplay. Quests, challenges, and meta changes, and quality of life improvements. The season, the season pass recognizes the player's dedication, with greater rewards unlocking as you play more throughout the season. There will be a single track of rewards with free tiers that are unlocked by playing the game and leveling, and premium tiers which provide no in-game power or advantage over other players. Okay, I like that they specify advantage there, because that means you can't have call like you define advantage, right? Like even if like it was like a stash tab or something, that would be an advantage. So he's saying no advantage. So having extra stash tabs and shit like that, like, you know, that you know how we're kinda like, like quality of life, you know? Like they said power, but like what are they defining? But he's saying advantage. And that's very specific. This language here would say like I mean literally like there could be I mean fucking anything could be advantage, right? Like even the smallest shit. Like, like by, by if, if GG said this, they couldn't sell stash tabs. They couldn't, you know, because that's an advantage. You could, you couldn't do any of that shit. Like, you know, uh, like the free tiers of the pass provide a uh, gameplay boost to all th players. Things which make the journey of leveling up a fresh seasonal character faster and more streamlined. In uh, contrast, the premium tier rewards are focused on aesthetics. Providing a huge value in the form of cosmetics and premium currency. Many of the uh, rewards embody the seasonal theme, helping players show off their participation in that season. So it's 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 like a Kyrax Vault Pass, isn't it? That's what it is. It's a fucking Kyrax Vault Pass, except there's two tracks instead of one track. Like you have this fucking shit, you gotta complete shit, and as you get shit, you unlock. Shit. Let's talk about what players can expect. The season pass has free tiers and premium tiers. Throughout, uh, throughout the pass, players can earn a variety of awards for free just by playing. Can you just fucking put loot in the game though? And like just have shit in the game and then it not be a fucking. It's because we're training us like dogs, right? That's what it is. Like, can we just earn shit? Like, can we just earn rewards by killing, like, monsters? And, like, XP? By killing shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> it's like, for free, just by playing. What? It's a fucking computer game that I fucking bought! What the fuck are you even talking about? 
Fucking... Are you telling me I can play the game that I purchased? Wait. And I get free stuff? Wait, I don't even understand. It doesn't make sense. What is this even saying, bro? What, what the fuck? Fucking gaming in 2022, dude. Like, holy shit. Guys, you can buy this game and then earn rewards for free. <laughs> just by playing, dude. You don't have to play, just by playing. You don't have to fucking put your credit card in, cunt. You just you just have to play the game that you purchased. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh my god. At any point during the season, players can purchase the premium pass to unlock the ability to earn premium rewards. Tears containing seasonally themed cosmetics and premium currency. Oh my god, dude. Do you know what? If you could guarantee that a, like 100% of the profit that fucking got done from this shit went to creating new content for the game and then paying the devs to do the work and everything, like, I would actually be, I'd be like, fuck it. You know what? Let me be like, fuck it. I'm directly contributing, but you know, it's just not that. That's not the case at all, right? You know, it's like, oh my. Oh, I don't appear to lose no. Oh my god. Ninety percent to Bobby, dude. The seasonal pass or uh, what's cosmetics like? Uh, wait, uh, the seasonal pass of what's cosmetics? Like the shop, these don't affect gameplay. Additionally, cosmetic types are exclusive to the season pass. Okay. I mean, chat. It's like, I mean... My expectations are low. But at least they're not doing, you know, like, at least they're not doing pay to win. Right? Like, at least it's, I mean, so far. Like, yeah, they're milking the fuck out of the Diablo IP. And, like, you're buying the game, you're paying the seasonal pass, you're buying the expansions. But at least they're saying, they're repeatedly saying, no paying for power. No paying for power or advantage. You know, they've said it like fucking four times in this post. Right? They said it four times in the post. So, like, you know. Seasonal pass, uh, what's premium currency players can uh, spend this currency on cosmetics within the shop. Uh, the seasonal pass awards free season boosts. Okay, the season pass. Okay, free. Okay, free underscore. Like, it's fucking underscore. Okay. Okay. Boost accelerated players' progress for the duration of the season. For example, a boost might accelerate XP earned to make leveling uh, multiple characters within the season faster. Because they affect gameplay. Season boosts are free rewards for all players. We want to be clear that players can't unlock seasonal boosts more quickly through purchases. There is no way to unlock more boosts or boosts at a faster pace. Why? I don't understand. Why? 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 Like, can't they fucking just... Can you just make a mob which drops a fucking item which says fucking increases your experience from level 1 to 60 by fucking 40% and it's got good stats but you can only get it from like an in-game boss that you can get by leveling your first character you know can't they just make an in-game item like you know but like why does it have to be some weird artificial track shit where you go down and it's tied to like all this money shit like can't we just kind of just make loot to drop from mobs that you get and you get experience by killing things and you know they create uh, they create ways to do exactly this level up alts but like, not like some weird fucking system where you're like... It's because it's because they want you to be linked to the shop, right? They want you to be shackled to the shop. So you're constantly looking at something that you can purchase. That's what it is, right? That's literally it. You can't you can't put a shop next to an item that drops, right? Well, you can, but it's like, that's true. Like, I mean, this, I guess, once you get used to this, it doesn't feel invasive. But it is invasive because you're constantly checking, like, oh, what do I need to do next? The whole time you're seeing the premium track. Like, you could be getting this right here if you just gave us money, pussy. It's 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 just a way of having a permanent ad embedded in your game, right? Reminder.
Uh, what happened uh, in four months? Or uh, GM's not considered gear? Yeah, this is ultra cringe. Yeah, this is ult I don't know. This was ult this is ultra cringe. Um, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. This was ultra cringe. Like, hey, Ziz, I've been pretty upfront about the interviews, though. Uh, not on this post. Uh, the, the gear was uh, 12 item slots and many interviews. Clearly state that money can advance gems and legendary gems. I'm sorry this isn't clear there. Uh, not being able to buy gear, the 12 slots or XP ranks. It's like, dude, it, it's, it's, it's so disingenuous and bad faith. And it's like, the only reason you would do this Is like, because he's fundamentally wrong, right? But there's like some small technicality. It's like it's like a scummy lawyer getting some criminal off by doing some fucking like. Well, actually, technically, this is actually the you know. But obviously, in terms of meaning and what everyone thinks is going on, no, it's completely full of shit. Like you cut buy items, but you can equip fucking gems into the items, which will literally make your character, you know. It multiplies the effects of the gear by like a factor of fucking five, right? It's like, well, no, dude. What are you saying? You're literally like, what? Yeah, but why it's not working on this shit? We're okay. Why it's not working on this shit, guys? Okay, why it's. <sighs> yeah, <sighs> fucking play. He's sitting there with the Diablo model doing all this fucking Diablo model dog shit trash and. You know, we can just stay away from that god for a second game and just pretend it doesn't exist. Okay, guys? You know, we can pretend it doesn't exist. And we just gotta try to keep these motherfuckers from trying to destroy D4, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything in our power to, like, you know? But yeah, I mean, you can see, you can clearly see what they're doing there, right? Like, they could, this could all, you could just get loot by killing mobs, and you can just, like, have, like, level up alt items that drop from fucking, you know, you get, you get, you know what I'm saying? There could be, like, an option, there could be, like, an additional trinket slot that's, like, levels up your guy faster, right? That you get from killing an in-game boss. Whatever. They could easily do that, but they want to link it to a thing that makes them money, because they're gonna make way more money by doing that. So, I mean, it is what it is. But... He's specifically saying it's not pay to win, and and they've said it like four times. So there's no there's no way this isn't like Wyatt tier. They they specifically said no, you cannot buy advantage, you cannot buy power. So they've outright said it, and you, there's no way they can go back on that, right? <laughs> no, seriously though, there's no way they no no no, but seriously though. <laughs> Players can purchase, uh, tears, but they won't speed up, uh, wait, players can purchase tears, but they won't speed up getting seasonal boosts. Players can't upgrade seasonal boosts just by purchasing tears, because they'll also have to earn the level milestones to apply to them. So it's like, yeah, Kyrax Vault shit, same shit. All other tier rewards can be unlocked instantly by purchasing tears. Wait, you really don't just buy one pass thing? Wait, you have to buy, like, tears within the pass? Which that's like, uh, how many times, how many passes do I have to buy to get the max rewards from the fucking pass cunt? In other words, there is no way to shortcut getting seasonal boosts by buying tears. They must be earned. Okay. The season journey accelerates the, oh wait, the season journey accelerates season pass progression. Okay, while any playstyle can progress through the seasonal pass, min maxes can focus on seasonal journey objectives to advance more quickly. Okay, I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused here. What does that mean? What does he mean? Wait, isn't the seasonal journey the se The seasonal journey... is the, sh the free one, right? And the seasonal pass is the bought one. It said something else entirely. Well, I'm just confused here. Milestones. No, yes. Seasonal pass coming towards seasonal pass, seasonal pass, seasonal journey. Where do they say seasonal journey? Seasonal pass. What? Seasonal journey ex accelerates the seasonal pass. Progression. Oh my god, dude. Progression has the answer here. Wait, I haven't, I haven't read it yet. I don't want spoilers. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want spoilers. I don't, want, I don't want spoilers, okay? I don't want spoilers. I'm gonna read first, first, okay? Um, okay. The shop. 
Um, the way we approached designing the shop and cosmetics uh, within it was by thinking about the experience we want players to have. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they want you to give them money, right? <laughs> That's how they designed it. They designed it about getting money, right? It's a shop. It makes sense, right? You've <laughs> like, okay. I want to uh, buying things to feel good before, during, and after the purchase. <laughs> so, if players choose to buy something, it should be because they want to. Not because they feel like they have to. It should also be clear to players exactly what they are getting before they choose to buy. Uh, with no unpleasant surprises. I remember that. I remember, do you guys remember whenever the GG released that one armor set? And the fucking video, like, had like a different, like, color scheme? Like, it, there was like different lighting which made the armor look way cooler, and then when you got into the game it looked bland and dog shit. And everyone fucking raged out, bro. Yeah, everyone fucking raged out. I remember that shit. Uh, okay, the cosmet the shop's cosmetics build on top of the foundation of a huge variety of transmogs from weapons and armors players will find in-game. It's also important to us that the shop is grounded within Diablo's world. So our uh, cosmetics are holistic fantasies. The individual components uh, of which can be mixed and matched with transmogs from armors acquired the game for endless customization options. Do you know what? I actually like that shit. I, I, I like it when they when they don't when they don't have like bro, why the fuck do razor footprints exist in PvE? Like why why do people have like I hate that shit where there's like flaming skull shit. Oh wait, what the, is that a flaming skull? I mean as long as it looks badass, okay. Oh my god. The flaming skull there instantly, bro. The Lion of Ariates. The air of the sea. That guy looks fucking fat, dude. What? That guy looks <laughs> fat as fuck, dude. What the fuck? Is that the fucking druid? The druid's fucking fat, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Do you know what? This dog does look good. I'm gonna be honest. Like, <laughs> this dog shit shouldn't exist because we're paying for seasonal pass. We're paying for the base game. Why the fuck is there an endgame shop? <laughs> I, I, it's, the way they put it on cards and everything looks very pretty, very pretty. They probably spent more development time on the store than they have like the fucking core fundamental in-game mechanics of the game. Let's be real. Okay, let's talk more about what players can expect. The shop sells uh, cosmetics for premium currency. Okay. Wait, the shop's... Sells, uh, cosmetics for premium currency. Cosmetics give players even more options to customize the visual appearance of the characters. Okay. Nothing, uh, of it in the shop grants a direct or indirect gameplay advantage. That's, I mean, that's pretty... Sp so that's saying you can't... That's saying you can't basically get an advantage or an advantage somehow from buying stuff from the shop. And I like that. I like that they specify this. So while many of these uh, look like powerful pieces of gear, they do they uh, have no in-game stats. Okay, okay. So they're supposed straight up going out because they do that in Lost Ark, right? They do that they do that in Lost Ark, right? Like you have like cosmetic sets which are like, you know, <laughs> like straight up give give you stats. <laughs> okay. Wraith Lord. This souls aren't to my call. Some necromancers explore the uh, beyond the body, blood, the bones of the dead. Skilled necromancers manipulate the spirit, putting that energy uh, to use as well. Wow, very oh, very cool. Buy buying it with money. Oh, fuck, man. Wouldn't that be cool if this was like fucking some armor you can get by farming some fucking guy, dude? Like, wouldn't that be cool? Like, I, 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 it's like, dude. And then when more people play your game, because they're like motivated to like want to farm shit, and then because they're playing your game, they actually want to like fucking pa buy your little season pass shit. You know, like why, 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 why have the fucking, why have the fucking uh, shop dog shit, man? Shop is optional. Players can experience uh, all core and seasonal gameplay features without spending money. 
Players can experience all core and seasonal gameplay features without spending money. Hmm. A goal for the players is to enjoy uh, going. Wait, a goal for the players to enjoy going to the shop, buy something when it catches their fancy, and walk away happy with what they bought. Shop is uh, transparent. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Shop is transparent, guys. I like it. Okay. It's important uh, that players uh, know exactly what to expect before making a purchase. I built a preview function that enables players to closely examine every detail of the cosmetics of their own characters before deciding uh, to make a purchase. Oh, wow, look at this burial shroud, somewhat mimicking the human body underneath the outer shell of this breastplate. There's a rib like uh, substructure of metal slats, further enhancing its protective qualities. Oh man, these are cool fucking descriptions of fucking items, man. What the hell? Why are they for cosmetic shit, man? Uh, the best looking cosmetics aren't exclusive to the sh to the shop. Diablo 4 will ship with the hundreds of transmogs unlockable uh, from drops in game. It's almost like this is how every drop should be. You know, it's almost like that's how that you know you should just you know. Oh wow, causing dozens of armor sets of the highest visual quality. There are incredible pieces, unique and legendary quality items for players to find uh, without ever going to the shop. The shop offers more diversity of choices, uh, not systematically better choices. So these are not bought ones. The fucking lion head. The fucking lion head. But it looks tight. It looks tight. It's a little bit too. It looks a little bit cringe. A little bit samurai. It looks like he's too jacked for that armor. He's he's a little bit too jacked for that armor. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Oh shit! The chaos orb, bro. What the hell? Oh shit! Is that yo? It looks like crucible armor. Hell yeah. Maybe they they, they like they like uh, it's the ultimatum guys like wife. The trial master's wife, boy. Hell yeah. Look at this shit. Jesus Christ. I mean, these are, these are cool. Like, cool looking. They're very cool looking. Very, uh, very tight. Very puggy. I, I like that nothing's too overkill. I like there's no fucking crazy. I love the fact... Uh, I like all these transmogs. It's because I'm used to seeing all this dog shit where, like... They have fucking mega giga wings coming out, and they've got like fucking rotating dildos and fucking orbs coming out their ass. All that. I don't like any of that shit. I love just like clean looking, nice looking shit, you know? I, I fucking hate all that. I hate all that, that extra dog shit. I, I, I like this. It's nice. Screen captures legendary hours, uh, and through the game left versus. Oh, wait! Armor cosmetics and shop right. So, okay, so these shoppers right. Okay, so wait. Game is left, shop is right. To be fair, I prefer the right side for every single one of them. Like, I prefer this. I prefer this one over that one because he looks, he looks, he looks too janky. He's too jank. I don't like him because it's yuck. But to be fair, it's the aesthetic that I prefer. I prefer the aesthetic. I, pre I prefer this. It's only. It's, I think the art is really good. Like I look at this and I think the art's really good, but it's just fucking disgusting. I don't know why you want to look like that. It's cool. It looks cool and badass, but it's like looks vile. Wait, somebody had a feet. Is that a foot? Wait, you see a foot? Oh shit. Wait, where's the feet? I don't know. Okay. Um, armor transbogs in the shop are usable on all characters of that class. Uh, many. Okay, okay, many of the uh, cosmetics in the shop are class-specific fantasies, which wouldn't necessarily make sense visually on other classes. Once you unlock a cosmetic from the shop uh, for a given class, you can use it on every character of that class on your account, okay? There are special cosmetic exclusives to the season pass, which uh, celebrate the theme of the season and look similar across all the classes. Okay. Uh, the most important... 
guiding principle behind this shop and season pass is to create something uh, players look uh, love uh, look forward to and appreciate being part of the game cosmetics in Diablo 4 create new ways of, for players to express themselves and never provide advantages in game okay okay Players will experience uh, all the fun of seasons, whether they spend anything or not. We intend to continue our dialogue. Uh, mate, they fucking spent money to buy the fucking game. Everyone spent money. If they're playing your game, they bought the fucking game, didn't they? Like, what do you... What, stop saying that shit. Like, literally, if they're playing your fucking game, they bought the fucking game. This is like some, like, what the fuck? You know, your game is not free to play, cunt. Are, 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 they, are they just announcing that it's going to be free to play soon and they just haven't got around to doing that? Or like, what the fuck? We intend to continue our dialogue with players about shop and season pass. Uh, and we've always, uh, we'll always listen to seek out the community's feedback about it. Bro, I'm telling you, man. Do you not think Diablo 4 would pop off so much harder if they just said, yo, we're going free to play? Like, because then, and then honestly, I wouldn't give a fuck about any of this cosmetic. Like, I, all this shit, all this, like, the season pass shop shit would, could, would be, I'd be, I'd be chill with it. I'd be like, hell yeah. And I'd be like, boys, let's buy the new season pass. Let's go. Like, the season's lit. Like, you know, it, would, it, would, it wouldn't feel, but right, because it feels dirty. The way it's put in feels fucking dirty. Free to play equals bot disaster. I don't know if it equals bot disaster. Just, just stop the bots. What do you mean? Just stop the bots. They, they have like most shit soulbound in the game anyway. They've already said that like hardly any of this, all the best shit is going to be like soulbound. Anyway. Like what? My PoE stops most of the bots, bro. Clearly you can stop like, bro, what are you talking about? They stop most of the bots, right? I mean, I play SSF, so, I mean, I don't see bots anyway, bro. I don't know. It's a sincerest belief that we can work together with the community uh, to keep the outlook for a living, evolving world for many years to come. Thanks for reading. Uh, we'll be sharing more soon. Closing thoughts. Wrapping up this quarterly update blog. We want players to take comfort in knowing Diablo 4. Man, they said they're going to talk about endgame systems. And they just said, yeah, we're going to make endgame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be seasons and it's gonna be there's gonna be endgame. They didn't they didn't do my shit, man. The fuck? Wrapping up this quarterly blog, we want players to take comfort in knowing Diablo 4 will continue to evolve uh, the tufferings post-launch. The introduction of new seasons alongside live events and the returning of season journey will uh, work in tandem to breathe variety into the game. <laughs> Mate, seasonal journey doesn't fucking add variety cunt like content does. Okay, adding some new in-game fucking thing. Some new league mechanic that's like got fucking lore in it with characters and there's like shit you can do. New crafting mechanics, whatever. Like, you know, that's like, okay, fucking adding in a new fucking pass which people like, go kill 20 mobs. Do seven dungeons. Transmog an item. Like, that's not content, bro. While also reinforcing its core principle, empowering players to experience sanctuary as they see fit. We cannot wait for you to explore these systems in the future. I mean, ultimately, chat. Ultimately. They repeatedly said. No buying power. No buying advantage. And they said even indirect or direct. Like, they specifically said it, like, fucking seven times. Yeah, so nothing off in the shop grants a direct or indirect gameplay advantage. Which would be, so indirect gameplay advantage would be you can buy an item from the shop and then you can sell it to get currency for, from another player and then use that currency to give you a gameplay advantage, right? It feels dirty the way that they're selling the game and they're doing the fucking MTX uh, shit as well as the paying for expansions. But at least they're not saying anything about pay to win shit. And, this, and they're, actually, they're actually doing the opposite. You know, like, you gotta understand, my standards are low for Blizzard. They're low. Like, after Diablo Immortal, like, are they capable of doing anything? I think they don't give a fuck, right? So, it seems like they're holding T4 to a higher standard, which 
uh, ultimately, I can I, I I can't appreciate because they could just say fuck you and just do like this is our final cash grab. We're gonna fucking we're gonna fuck every last you know we're gonna, we're gonna milk this bitch for every you know at least at least they're like you know trying to trying to milk you ethically, right? You know what I'm saying? All right, we're getting back. All right, there it is, boys. That's it. So anyone who wanted to, uh, yep, that's, that's the default update done. Yeah, I mean, don't, don't really get to find out anything too interesting. I mean, they do say that they're going to have an army of developers working on seasonal content. And maybe they will. Maybe. Well, I think if they're making money from all that dog shit, like from their store and their seasonal pass and all that shit, maybe they can justify having lots of devs and maybe they will release content. You know, you never know. Although it's to me, I was getting the vibe like, Oh, they're not actually going to be adding anything fucking new into the game, right? That's going to be like they're going to just get all that shit and put it into an expansion, and then you're going to make they're going to make you buy the expansion. It's more like, oh, we're just going to like add in some new uniques, add in like a new theme, you know, give you new cosmetics, and um, you know, you can have little fucking daily quests that, that change a little bit. No direct, no direct indirect gameplay advantage. Pay for one week early access. Wow, that's not a season, is it? He is. God damn. Game. God damn.